That's an excellent question. Welcome to a stupid o'clock episode. <laughs> so, behind me are the majestic, psychotic sounds of probably a couple of hundred elk. <laughs> we are in the middle of a field, so it's the same, I'm in the same area as the overwinding video that I filmed. I don't know if that's out yet. I think that's going to come out before this one, so probably. But we're in southwest New Mexico, and um, I'm going to shoot some elk in the face. I got my bestest YouTube buddy, who's seriously blurry right now. <laughs> <laughs> that game's even all black. But that's Mike, Mike Perea. Some of you guys will know him. He's a fellow Arizona wildlife, nature, landscape photographer. Oh, dude, I see some mist. Some, some, there's a little bit of a... There's a little bit of a, a fog inversion over there. So we got a really nice sunset. It's uh, probably 30 something degrees. Slept in the car. I've got the jet boil going, which I probably should check on. I completely forgot about it. I think it's ready. Gotta have tea. So we're gonna make some morning tea and uh, we're gonna go find some wildlife and we're gonna see what we get. It's gonna be kind of difficult to film this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but uh, I'll figure something out. So hopefully you guys will have some good wildlife footage as the day goes on. We got one more day here, so we'll get something good. All right, let's go find some elk. That's better. So, this is not like a 100% stalking mission. This is more of a half scouting. <laughs> but we do got a little bit of camo going on. Oh, there's our first, first obstacle. There's a bog. So, I'm gonna start out with the one to 500 and uh, the way I like to roll is definitely auto ISO. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but uh, trust me, I'd rather have a grainy image than no image or, you know, so that doesn't bother me. So I'm in manual mode with auto ISO wide open. What I'm hoping is right over that ridge right there is where we're hearing all of the bugling. So in an ideal world, we can just walk up to that ridge and see 500 elk just having at it and shoot them in the face and be nice and comfortable and go back to the car for tea and breakfast. <laughs> so we'll see. satellite bulls over there, one behind me, one over there, and more this way. And the hard part is picking which one do we go after. It's like the best day ever for landscape photography. The sky is lit up and we're out there doing wildlife.
Well, we just hit private land. That's the bummer about America. <laughs> we can't hike anymore. So I think we might have to go back to the, because all the elk are over there. But the private land is like this, and we're like right here. So we should be able to, there's a road that goes around it. It's crazy how there's just some random plots of land in the middle of a national forest. Kind of envious. <laughs> number one has been successfully shot in the face he was a young bull but he was gorgeous and we got some majestic light just as we were walking back giving up from uh, the first bust round where a, a bird alerted them and they all took off we we're headed back to the to the camp and just right here he just comes running right at us there's Still, a, we're gonna go chase some more because there's some big bulls right behind camera, uh, right around this ridge and this road. So, let's go grab some tea and a vehicle, <laughs> and hopefully, we'll get some big bulls.
it's uh, quite a few days later and I clearly did not wrap up the video out there. Probably because I was distracted by filming <laughs> all the b-roll and stuff. But anyways, uh, I had a great time out there with Mike and it's always awesome I think to go out with someone else who's just as passionate as I am. Uh, and I don't have many other friends <laughs> or, or at least friends that are interested in, in this kind of stuff. So having somebody that's doing the same thing, being a wildlife photographer, a landscape photographer, and a YouTuber, uh, it was really cool. We had a great time. Neither one of us slept very good in our vehicles though. Other than that, <laughs> it was pretty good. I definitely didn't get the shots that I was after. I had a few specific shots in mind that I was really hoping for, but that's, you know, wildlife. And uh, it's kind of hard to ask the wildlife if they can like, you know, cooperate. <laughs> and these elk are super skittish. Um, and, and that's to be expected, you know, that the area that uh, we're in in Southern New Mexico is very big with hunting so they kind of know uh that people equals murder so so it's, it's hard to get close to them for sure it ain't like rocky mountain national park or tetons or yellowstone or anything like that it's uh it's definitely survival mode for them out there so but it was cool to just see them and watch them and film them from a distance even though we couldn't get as close as we wanted or hoped we also got a couple of Milky Way shots. We definitely had some fun playing Star Wars for the last farewell to the Milky Way for the season. Um, I do believe that Mike will have a tutorial on how we did this shot or these shots. Um, I don't know when he's gonna put that out, uh, maybe soon. So check, you know, I'll have the link to his channel, so check that out. Uh, if you're into Astro stuff, you wanna know like, how we did these shots. Uh, so that was super fun. We weren't expecting clear skies, but the first night was just super perfectly clear and we were able to actually get a lot of Milky Way stuff and he brought some lightsabers and some hoods and it was just a uh, very good old fashioned nerdy party. <laughs> On another note, I was very pleased that the this was the end of the rut and uh, we were definitely both hoping for some some action between the bulls and we got only a little taste of it and we were really far away. I was shooting on the R5 and I was filming in 8K uh, and I had the 800 millimeter on and they were still not filling the frame. So that should tell you like how far away we were. But we did get this action shot that you guys already saw and I was pretty stoked on that. Uh, and I was also stoked that I had had my shutter speed up a little bit higher than the normal 180 rule. Um, even though I was filming like in 8K30, I think I had my shutter speed up to like, you know, 200th of a second or something like that. And I, th that helped, I think, freeze the action enough a little bit in the still shots. And I wasn't planning on pulling stills from this, but it worked out that I actually was able to pull a few still shots from the 8K clips of these guys uh, fighting for a second. And that was pretty cool that they held up. Uh, at least well enough for the video and probably well enough for the social medias online. And I was just super happy to to see that. I did get a little bit of motion blur and I think that it actually kind of works in this case because it really does convey a little bit of that power and a little bit of that uh, action going on there. So that was pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up because I've got to finish editing the video and I've got to publish it tomorrow. And then I've got to drive six hours to Santa Fe Taos area. So I'm gonna be gone for a while and hopefully get some good fall foliage and switch gears to some landscape. Although I am gonna go hunt some bighorn sheep with my 800 and my 500. So I'm looking forward to that too. So maybe we'll get another wildlife video out of this trip. Well, as usual, if you guys made it this far, I super appreciate it. Uh, leave me any comments if you guys have any questions or anything about my methods or anything that went on for the video, the wildlife, all that good stuff. You know, I'll definitely answer them. Hit that like button for me if you enjoyed the video. I super appreciate it. And it's the best thing you can do for my channel. And also, uh, more shameless plugs. It is fall, so I'm going to throw my fall preset pack down below. And I've been using it to edit um, most of these images. And I've really been happy with the way that they're turning out. My autumn shift profile, the first one that I have on there has been kind of my favorite jam lately. 
I've uh, really been liking the looks from those images. So if you guys are in the mood for some new presets or you just want to support the channel, the link for those is down below. And I definitely appreciate the support. All right, that's it. I got to finish this third giant cup of chai behind me. <laughs> finish the edit and get packing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.